Hey guys, this is Audrey Lolita Terry coming in with the encouraging word that the Father gave me. Pray with me and stay with me to the end. You going to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Father God, I come into prayer, Lord God, just thanking you because of who you are, Lord. For you are truly the El Shaddai, the God Almighty, the all-sufficient one. Lord God, if there is any covenants that I may have made with the enemy, normally or unknowingly, I break that covenant right now in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, because my covenant is with you, Father. Lord God, if there's any demonic portals that I may have opened up normally or unknowingly, I close it shut and I seal it closed with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. And I command this old flesh to stand down. And I ask humbly that the Holy Spirit would stand up and speak, Father. And Lord, I pray that those that have eyes will see, Lord, take the scales off their eyes. And Lord God, let those that have ears hear, because you said my sheep shall know my voice and a stranger's voice that I will not follow. Have your way in Jesus' mighty name. I am praying. Amen, amen, amen. To God be the glory and all of the honor. The Lord put this in my, my spirit. He showed me this, okay? I got some notes here. There is a stir taking place in the spiritual realm, okay? There is a stirring, okay, taking place in the spiritual realm. The Lord is getting ready to speak to somebody in the name of Jesus before I get into the word, I just want to say thank you for all the love, the support, all the donations, all the, the encouraging emails. And I pray that the Father would just open up the floodgates and pour out a blessing upon you where you won't have room enough to receive. In Jesus' mighty name, I am praying. Amen, amen, amen. I want to share something else that I received, and it just really, truly blessed me because um. She, this woman of God have been with me since last year, y'all, for a year now she's been with me, okay? And she been having, I mean, having a, a really, was, was having a really, really hard time, just really going through. And it was just such a blessing to see her get blessed. Let me tell you something. God is, is, is moving things around, my Lord. The Father take care of his, his own. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. I want to show y'all, she had been emailing me. She couldn't, she she would find a job, but it was hard for her to get to the job because she didn't have transportation. I mean, she was just really, really going through. And, and you know, we would just pray and, and it was just such a blessing to see her get blessed, y'all. She didn't have no transportation and a God touched a friend of hers heart to buy her a SUV. Y'all look at this. Look at God. Look at the father. It's going to encourage somebody that's going through right now. You don't have transportation. I hope y'all can see this. You don't have transportation, but the Lord getting ready to do it for you too. The father is faithful. My Lord, even we're not faithful, even we're undeserved, deserving of the blessing. My Lord, thank you, Jesus, to God be the glory and all of the honor. Thank you, father. God is good. God is good. But I just, I'm, I was just, it just made my, made my day. I love to see other people get blessed. It just really blesses me. Thank you, Father, because it let me know that the Father is still working. He is still working behind the scenes where we cannot see. Hear me. Just because he's quiet, it don't mean he's not listening. The Father is always listening. Mm, the, the, the word of God say he's attentive. Thank you, Jesus, to the righteous prayer. He's always uh, attentive and he's always listening to our prayers. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Spirit. This was, I mean, all, all last week, y'all. I mean, just really praying and the things that I've been seeing, okay, that, that's going on, my Lord, my Lord. It just, help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, Lord. It's just so much going on, okay? The attacks on the men and women of God, okay? The spiritual attacks. And you know, I was just thinking, because even with all the praying and fasting I do, okay, the attacks still come. <laughs> I am not exempt. I want you to hear me. Thank you, Father. But the only thing that, that keep me on track and, and, and 
focus is the word of God. When I get in the word, it gives me peace. It reminds me. It's a reminder of who the father is. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Somebody need to hear this. Lord, help me to bring this message the way you intended. I want to share something with you guys, okay? Because um, it's some things I had really been praying about. And like I say, even with all the praying and, and fasting, you know, I, I still, the text still come, okay? The text still come. And I noticed, like the, the heart I pray, the, the more the, the enemy will come, okay? And I just, I get up and curse them some more in the name of Jesus. Damn these demons straight back to the pits of hell to eternal damnation, huh? In the name of Jesus. I want y'all to hear me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. And a lot of people, a lot of saints that I'm finding uh, uh, afraid uh, 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 of rebuking these demons. And a lot of times the way we're living, our sin brings fear. <laughs> It brings fear. I want you to hear me because God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Thank you, Jesus. And you can't damn a demon to eternal damnation if you got demons hanging around you. Help me, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. I say, Lord, you know that I'm trying my best to live my life for you, Lord. <laughs> oh, it be on and popping. I want y'all to hear me. Mm, I don't wait on the enemy to, to bring a battle to me. I take the battle to him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to put the word of God to work. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because he said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that raised up against me in judgment should be condemned. In the name of Jesus, I want y'all to hear me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. But I'm finding a lot of saints are, are walking in fear. My Lord, you walking in fear. Hmm? This, 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 I wasn't intended on talking about that, bringing it up, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have your way in Jesus' mighty name. I am praying. Amen, amen. But the spirit of fear, always remember, is not coming from the Lord. And just because you sit back and you be quiet and you don't attempt to fight, it don't mean that you won't get attacked, okay? Because I remember last year when I was minding my own business, okay? The enemy came, the, these demons came for me, these ancient demons, okay? And they, they were just on a whole nother level. I want you to hear me, but to whom much is given? Much is required. The Lord showed me huh, that this ain't to be played with. Thank you, Father. If you're going to walk this thing out, you got to walk it right. Thank you, Jesus. You got to equip yourself, arm yourself with the whole armor of God so that you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. We got to get the word in us to be able to fight. Thank you, Jesus. This, this ain't no time to be playing. Okay, because I know if they coming for me with all the praying and fasting I'm doing, I could just only imagine. The attacks on the people that are not praying and fasting. Help me, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. But let me get on with this message, Lord. Last week, okay, um, as I was praying and just laying before the thing, the very thing I had been praying about, okay, I started to get a little discouraged. And I say, Lord, I just need you to dispatch your angels. Lord, I just need confirmation, Father, that you are listening to me, Jesus. My Lord, somebody go. Catch what I'm saying in the spirit and you getting blessed today in the name of Jesus because the father blessed me. And let me tell y'all what he did. I had been praying and then I got so discouraged. OK, and this was round. I want to say it was Saturday morning, Saturday morning. The, the Lord sent the Holy Spirit to wake me up at three. And I know it was three because I looked at my phone, y'all. OK, when I looked at my phone, it was 3 a.m. And I looked at the phone. I turned over. I put it down. And I turned over and went back to sleep. I want y'all to hear me. He came back again and shook me and woke me up. It was 430 a.m. This time I got up and I turned on my bedroom light and I began to pray. And as I began to pray, the father began to speak in my spirit. OK, and this was real personal for me. OK, very personal. The very thing that I had been praying about. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The very thing that I've been praying about, my Lord. Thank you. The, the Holy Spirit took me to. Let me show you how the Lord do things. And I'm not going to get into details what that thing was. Because like I said, it's personal for me. 
Thank you, Father. The Father haven't released me to, to share that just yet. But he took me to the very thing that I had been praying about and showed me, okay, that something was stirring. Mm, it's stirring in the spiritual realm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And when I saw that, it had been five days when, when I saw that, the number of favor, that stood out. Mm, I, and I just heard the Father say, I'm giving you favor. Mm, it's all working out for your good. Mm, though it may not feel good. Mm, the Lord is speaking to somebody right now, but it's all working out for your good. The Lord is saying today, something is brewing for you. Something is stirring mm, in the spiritual realm. That very thing you've been praying about. The Lord giving somebody confirmation on something today. I don't know who you are, who you are and where you are, but the Lord is speaking to somebody in your spirit today. My Lord, thank you, Jesus. Sometimes I think he just put me in certain situations to, 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 to allow me to go through just so I could come back and tell uh, and testify what he's doing. My Lord, the Lord is speaking to somebody today. There is, there is a shift taking place. The father is, is, is he's getting ready to manifest that thing. Mm, he's getting ready. That, that very thing that you've been praying about is getting ready to manifest. It's getting ready to take place. It's getting ready to break floor forth. The Lord is getting ready to make that thing obvious. My Lord, he's getting ready to, to, to make it evident mm, that is getting ready to come to pass in the name of Jesus. The Lord is speaking to somebody because that thing spoke to me and I just began to just bless the Lord. And I begin to just give him glory. I have been blessing him all week. My Lord, you ever just feel like you just pray, pray, pray. And then you, you, you may say in your spirit, uh, maybe even out loud, Lord, are you even listening to me, Father? Because sometimes he's just so quiet. Mm. And, and sometimes I tell him, Lord, I just want to hear something. Lord, tell me something. Show me something. Let me know you still listening to me. And he showed me. He woke me up and took me exactly to the very place, the very thing I needed to see that there was something stirring in the spiritual realm. And the enemy knew that. And that's why the attacks was just coming. I mean, he was coming for me all in my dreams. And when he come for me, phone calls, I want y'all to hear me just the way he worked when something getting ready to break forth. Somebody need to hear what I'm saying today when a shift is getting ready to take place. He go to attacking everything from your children, your finances, if you married, your husband, your spouse. I want you to hear me. Your job. Oh, somebody need to hear this right now. Your family, the attacks. The enemy go to attacking everything because the reason why he do that is to take your focus off of God. And I told the devil, mm, I said, not that I come to serve you notice, devil, not this time. Fall back, catch fire and die in the name of Jesus. Die. I command you to die now in the name of Jesus. Catch fire and burn to eternal damnation in the name of Jesus. My Lord, you have, sometimes you have to look that demon in the face and speak to it. Mm, the very thing that used to destroy me and tear me apart. I say, not this time, not today, devil. You got the right one today. Catch fire and die in the name of Jesus. Huh? Catch fire and go to hell. Fall back and die. You jelly back stinking demon. You catch fire and die now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I say you won't steal my joy. You won't steal my peace. <laughs> Not this time. Not this time. Thank you, Father. I say, Lord, I got my eyes on you in spite of what it looked like around me. In spite of what it feel like. Sometimes it don't feel good. Sometimes I don't feel like praise and worship. Worship, But can I tell you, saints, it's not about a feeling. My Lord, we got to give the Father what he's truly deserving of. Thank you, Father. Because the truth is, we don't have enough breath in our body to give him what he's worthy of. My Lord, thank you, Jesus. We owe him everything, but he owes us nothing. Mm, somebody going to catch what I'm saying in the spirit and you going to be blessed. My Lord, thank you, Jesus. We have to be able to press forward. Mm, regardless of what come my way. Thank you, Father. Let me share this because I was in Acts. And like I told y'all before, you could read the whole Bible, but the, the Lord allow you to see what he wants you to catch in the spirit. And I caught this in the spirit, my Lord, because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a worshiper, okay? I believe in prayer and worship. Thank you, Jesus. And I be praying and worship 
praying and, and, and singing scriptures at the same time. Thank you, Father. But the Lord took me to Acts. I was reading Acts. And I came to Acts 16 as I was coming through Acts. Acts 16, verse 25. Okay, stay with me now. Around midnight, this was Paul. Around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, suddenly, there was a massive earthquake and the prison was shaken to its foundation, my Lord. Mm. Suddenly, there was a massive earthquake and the prison was shaken to its foundation. All the doors immediately flew open. Somebody gonna catch what I'm saying in the spirit and you getting blessed today. Mm. The doors flew open and the chains of every prisoner fell off, my God. The jail, the jailers woke up to see the prisoner doors wide open. My Lord, it's something about prayer and worshiping the Lord. I want y'all to hear me. It's, it's something about when you, when you start to, when you begin to, to pray and worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Mm, he said an earthquake, the grounds were shaking. My Lord, the prison doors flew open. Mm, the Lord is speaking to somebody. Mm, the, your spiritual prison doors are flying open. My God, chains are being broken. My Lord, and then and, and, and the walls are coming down in the name of Jesus. I want you to hear me. It's something about when you get in the presence of the Lord. Hear me, saints. Somebody going to catch what I'm saying in the spirit, my Lord, and you going to be blessed. It's something about when we get in the presence of the Lord and we begin to worship in spirit and in truth. My Lord, thank you, Jesus, to God be the glory and all of the honor, my Lord. It's just something about it, the, the host of heaven. Begin to open up over your altar prayer. My Lord, something begin to shift and stir in the spiritual realm. The Lord speaking to somebody today. My Lord, though you can't see nothing shifting for you on the earthly, earthly realm. But the Lord sent me to tell you that something is shifting for you in the spiritual realm. It's about to take place in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory and all of the honor. Stay with me now. Isaiah 65, 24, King James Version. And it should come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Mm. The Lord say, before you even pray, before you start to even cry to me, that very thing you prayed about is already done. Though you can't see it in front of your face, but do you believe them? He say, if you believe the very thing in Mark eleven twenty one, and I'm paraphrasing this. Okay, eleven twenty four, I think it is. The very thing you are praying for, if you believe that you receive, you should have it. It should be yours, my Lord. Do you believe what you're praying for? I know it's difficult. I know it's hard. I know you can't see your way right now. And I know you walking blind, but, but sometimes when we cannot see things, we got to trust God to be a candle in the dark. What we cannot see, my Lord. He said in, the, in his word, in, in Job 22, 28, we should be able to decree a thing and it should be established unto us. Mm. And I paraphrase that in the name of Jesus, my Lord. I put these scriptures in a description box so you can meditate on it. But I just pray that this word bless you guys like it blessed me because the father blessed me to let me know that he was listening to me, okay? It was truly a blessing. OK, and it was another thing that happened to me. I've been meaning to share with you guys. And this was around um, Halloween time. OK. He had me to extend my fast that I was on straight through. OK, straight through Halloween. I want y'all to hear me. OK, just praying against these demonic agendas and, and wicked and evil agendas. OK, and I pray so hard. I want y'all to hear me. And I was fasting. Okay. And I, and I remember just laying. It was about after around midnight. Okay. And I remember I laid down just crying before the God, before the Lord. And I say, Lord, are you even listening? You're not listening to me. Are you even listening to me? Okay. I pray. You ever pray so hard till you get discouraged. I was praying so hard till I just got discouraged. And when I said that, boom, 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 the ground shook. Oh my God. 
The ground shook. It wasn't rain. It wasn't raining, but the ground, my whole apartment building just shook. Everything in here was just shaking, shaking the grounds. It was like an anger, like God was letting me know, don't insult me by saying, I'm not listening to you. I want you to know whoever you are, the father hear you today. Thank you, Father. And something is stirring for you. It's about to break through in the name of Jesus. I pray that this word bless whom it's supposed to bless in the name of Jesus. For those of you that are ready to give your life to Christ, maybe you backslid whatever reason. Okay. When I was reading in Acts, it was just saying in Acts, if you believe <laughs> that, that, that you are saved, and I, I'm paraphrasing this, okay? then you are saved. If you believe that you are saved, if you believe that, that Christ, that God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross for your sins and raise from the dead, you are saved by the blood of Jesus. It don't have all this in there, okay? If we repent and turn away from our wicked ways, thank you, Father, then the Lord will heal our land and hear our cry. The Lord is speaking to somebody. Are you ready today? Are you ready to surrender and give your life to Christ? Are you really re Are you ready to turn from your wicked ways? My Lord, thank you, Jesus. You could say this prayer with me, but the truth is all you got to do is just believe, my Lord. Mm, dear Lord Jesus, and you don't have to say this, but you can say it with me if you want. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life as my Lord and Savior. If you said this prayer with me, and you believe that you are saved by the blood of Jesus. The next step will be baptism. Until next time, I want you guys to know I love you with the love of God and you guys be blessed. Bye.